कॉन्सेप्ट नंबर फोर्टीन ऑप्शंस ऑप्शंस आर कॉन्टेंजेंट क्लेम्स व्हिच गिव्स द ओनर द राइट बट नॉट द ऑब्लिकेशन ओके सो द ओनर द बायर हैज अ चॉइस इन दिस केस आइदर इट कैन बाय और सेल एन अंडरलाइंग एसेट ओके सो द ऑप्शन बायर कैन सेल एज वेल ओके सो देर आर टू थिंग्स द बायर इज ऑफ द ऑप्शन and now it has an option either it can buy the underlying or it can sell the underlying okay at a given price which is called the exercise price or the strike price while the seller is obligated to either sell or buy if the buyer wants to buy then the seller will have to sell the underlying okay and vice versa options can be customized over the counter or it can be traded on exchanges as well then there are two kinds of options american options if the option to buy or sell can be exercised at any time up to or including the expiration date which means that if today is the initiation when the contract has been entered into and this is the expiry then american options allow the owner the buyer of the option to exercise it any time in between that means on any particular day or any at any point in time the owner can exercise its option however in case of european options this option to exercise will be available only on expiry so in case of european options the buyer will have to wait until expiry to exercise the option so naturally american options are more flexible and european options are more rigid and this is why european options trade cheaper than american options then on the basis of the uh, right to buy or right to sell there are two types of option call option and put option we use call option when someone wants to bet upside that means if the underlying is going upwards in that case the call option is used because it gives the buyer the right see the buyer will always have a right no matter whether it is a call option or put option this call will determine whether the buyer can buy or this if it is a put then the buyer will have the right to sell okay so this call and put will determine whether he can buy or he can sell on the other hand when we talk about the call option writer or the call option seller then he will take the opposite position if the buyer wants to buy then he will have to sell the asset and on the other hand if the buyer wants to sell then he will have to buy the asset okay and in either the and in either case he will the seller will be having the obligation he does not have a choice and why do you think the seller will allow the buyer to do so because the buyer is paying a price for this option for this right the buyer is making some payment and that is called option premium so this is the price of the option which is nothing but the present value of the future cash inflows whatever benefit is expected out of this option that is discounted and uh, charged from the buyer in the form of option premium exercise or strike price this is the price at which the asset is going to be purchased so this is the price that is required to be paid at the expiry okay so if this is the expiry and this is the initiation so on the initiation of the contract the buyer is required to pay only the premium amount that is the option premium which is let's say 10 dollars and on the expiry the buyer will be actually if the if the buyer exercises the option that it will buy the asset then the buyer will be required to pay the strike price and if the strike price is decided at 100 this 100 will be decided right on the uh, initiation itself this will be decided at the time of initiation but this is not required to be paid at initiation this will be paid at the time of expiry okay and if in case the buyer does not exercise this option then it is not required to be paid buyer can simply go home without paying anything but in that case this premium of 10 dollar will be lost concept number 15 types of positions under options we understand that long means buyer 
okay so whether it is a long call or long put the long position always refers to buyer and by looking at whether it is a call or put we can see what right the buyer has if it is a call then he, then he can buy and if it is a put then he can sell okay and vice versa is the case with short call and short put then concept number 16 call option payoff and concept number 17 put option payoff let us see this with the help of an example below concept number 18 let us discuss concept of moneyness and then we will take up the example so what is moneyness it refers to whether an option is in the money or out of the money now what does this mean what does in the money mean it means that if the option is exercised then it will generate a positive payoff for the holder that means if the off that means if the option is going to make profit for the holder then we say that the option is in the money similarly it will be said out of the money if it is going to generate a negative payoff that means it will be a loss and at the money means that it is a no profit no loss situation there is neither a positive nor a negative payoff coming to this example consider a july 40 call so this is the way how uh, an option is notified first there is an uh, expiry date when this option is going to expire then it is the strike price and then whether it is a call option or a put option okay in case of call option you you will also see a symbol like ce and in case of put we see an option like pe this means that it is a european call option and p means it is a put european option okay so consider a july 40 call and a july 40 put both on a stock that is currently selling for 37 dollars per share so this is the current market price that is cmp and we have to calculate how much these options are in or out of the money to determine the moneyness of the option whether it is in the money or out of the money we have to see whether we are making a profit or loss right so let us first consider the call option when the call option buyer will be making a profit if the stock price is above the strike price he has made an upside betting so the call will be in the money only if the current market price is higher than the exercise price or the strike price but in the given case we see that the current market price is 37 and the exercise price is 40 so the current market price is less than the exercise price hence this call is out of the money and the by how much that is three dollars right 37 and the difference between 37 and 40 is 3 so similarly the option july 40 put the put option will be in the money because the put holder wishes that the price of the stock should fall and in this case the price has fallen to 37 right so the difference between the exercise price and the current market price is your answer to the question that is this put option is three dollars in the money next example we have an exercise price of forty dollars the call premium is given as dollar three put premium is 0.75 calculate the profit to the long and short positions for both the put and call so we have long and short positions for both put and call so there will be four instances first there will be a long call then there will be long put then there will be short call and there will be short put and what are we required to calculate we are required to calculate the profit so there is a difference between calculating payoff and profit okay for payoff we use the formula for call the payoff is given by st minus x this means stock price on expiry minus the exercise price if this is positive well and good if this is not positive then it can at the lowest be zero why it cannot be negative because it is a right if there will be a negative payoff then the call holder will not exercise it simple 
and hence his payoff can be at the lowest zero similarly for put the payoff is given by x minus st that is exercise price minus the stock price on expiry and this can also be at the lowest zero now these are for the long positions and in case of short you can just uh, make the payoff negative okay so now let us consider this case we are given with two cases first stock price on expiry is dollar 35 take the first instance that stock price as on expiry is dollar 35 so what will be the payoff for long call this is given by st minus x what is st that is 35 and what is x x is given by exercise price that is 40 so 35 minus 40 is negative 5 right but this cannot be negative it can at max be 0 so the payoff for long call is going to be 0 but we are not required to compute payoff we are required to compute profit so to calculate the profit or loss we have to consider the payment of premium as well this payoff means what amount he is going to receive as a result of this contract as a result of this option either he will gain something or he will not gain anything so in this case he is not gaining anything but he has already paid the call premium right so that will be reduced from the payoff and ultimately it is a loss for the option buyer and whatever is the loss for long position it will be the profit for the short position right so it will be a positive 3 for the short position then in case of put the payoff is given as x minus st so x is 40 in this case and st is 35 so this is positive 5 in this case so 40 minus 35 that is positive 5 but then out of this he has also paid the premium and the premium amount in this case is 0 0.75 right so his final profit comes out to 4.25 and if the long position is gaining then the short position must be losing so that is minus 4.25 all right now let us repeat this for scenario 2 as well when the stock price is as on expiry is 43 so in that case the position for long call will be st minus x that is 43 minus 40 but he has already paid a premium of 3 so his final profit comes out to 0 although his payoff was positive but his profit is 0 and and in case of put long put the payoff is going to be 0 because the stock price has risen above the exercise price so in this case the value of the uh, option will become zero but he has already paid a premium of 0 0.75 the put premium is 0 0.75 so the loss comes out to minus 0 0.75 okay and in case of short position short call it is going to be zero and for short put it is going to be positive 0.75 while doing similar problems in exam i'll suggest that you keep this formula in mind and do this calculations uh, quickly if you would go by logics then it will take you a little longer which is not in your best interest while setting an exam okay so for any logical cal calculations you can do it right now when you are practicing it but in your exam, it is recommended that you use these formulas because these are no brainer. You just have to put in values and your answer will be right in front of you.